A high school class is measuring the amount of nitrate in a local stream. To be considered safe to drink, the maximum amount of nitrate can, that can be present in water is 10 milligrams, 10 milligrams per liter. The class takes a sample of 15 liters of water. If the number of milligrams per liter of nitrate in the stream, in the stream water is three-fourths of the maximum that is safe to drink, how many milligrams of nitrate should the class expect to find in their sample? All right, this is interesting. So in this sample, in this 15 liter sample, they find that the number of milligrams per liter of nitrate is three-fourths of the maximum. Well, what's the maximum? Well, they tell us up here. They tell us, let me underline this for color. The maximum amount of nitrate that can be present in water is 10 milligrams per liter. So what the, what the class finds is, that they find that their sample has three-fourths of this maximum value. So what's three-fourths of 10 milligrams per liter? Let's just write that down. So the maximum is 10 milligrams per liter. In their sample, they find three-fourths of this maximum concentration. So let's just multiply that. We can multiply that times three-fourths, which is going to be equal to what? That is seven and a half milligrams per liter. So that is seven. 0.5 milligrams per liter. The way I think about this, 3 fourths of 100 is 75, so 3 fourths of 10 is going to be 7 and a half. You could have done it other ways. You could say 10 times 3 is 30. 30 divided by 4 is 7 and a half, and you keep your units. So this is the concentration that they find that they find in their sample. 7.5 milligrams per liter. And they do this, they find this concentration in 15 liters of water. So the total number of milligrams they find? Well, you take the liters of water, 15 liters, and then multiply that times the concentration, 7.5 milligrams per liter. Now the units should work out, and they do indeed. You have liter being divided by liter, so those cancel out. And you're left with 15 times 7.5 milligrams. So we just need to figure out what 15 times 7.5 is. So let's do that. So if you have 7.5 times 15, 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times 7 is 35, plus 2 is 37, and then 1 times 75 is 75, so let's see, 5 plus 0 is 5, 7 plus 5 is 12, and then 4 plus 7 is 11, and you have one, not one digit behind the decimal point. So you would expect to, they, would, they would expect to find 112.5 milligrams, and there we go.